Okay, we're going to start on our goat's head. And we need to get the horns on here before we go any further. This is a 22 gauge cloth wrapped floral wire. It's available in the Serafina Fiber Art um, Etsy shop. And it works really well. It's a it, pipe cleaner could work also. This is a little bit stiffer so it holds its shape better and the cloth covering does help does help the wool stick. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to put these on and then we will begin sculpting the shapes for the head. I also wanted to say I've sold a couple of um, goat kits so I put together all the supplies needed to follow along with the video. Um, and it's also on um, in the Etsy shop. Actually, there is a listing on there all ready to go. So if you want to join in, um, you can you can get the supplies pretty easily. Okay, so we need to put the horns on before we go any further on the head. And so I have this 22 gauge wire. I'm going to fold it in half to find the center. And then I'm going to set the center down on top of the goat's head towards the back um, where his horns would be. And then as tightly as I can, I'm going to cross the wires under his throat and pull really tightly. I don't actually tie it. Um, it'll hold. It'll hold if you just pull it tightly. And then you kind of decide, you know, what kind of goat you're making and how long you want the, the horns to be. And then um, cut the wire. And as with all the wires, fold the tip back so that it's a friendly end. It's not pokey. Try to just grab the very, very tip and fold it back with the needle nose pliers and then give it a squeeze, especially in this case you want it nice and tight because the, the, um, end of the horn should be pointy. So don't worry about too much about the horn shape. Right now you can um, you can shape them after you wrap them. I'm using this um, this is a nice it's not brown and it's not gray it's it's right off the sheep um, and it's a really nice horn color. And just work with thin pieces And I usually, um, I start at the base and just wrap up, concentrating more at the base. This I need to be really tight, so as I go, I really tweak, tweak it, keep tweaking it down with my finger and thumb. Don't try to get the whole thickness of the horn on in one, um, one go <laughs> around with the wool. This is a good application um, for beeswax. If you already have some, you can just dip your finger in it and use it to smooth that end out. If you don't have it, just going around with your fingers over and over really does secure the wool. And then do it again, and each time you do it, Start at the base, but then taper a little sooner. And then when you're finished, you'll have a horn that's nice and thick at the bottom and gradually getting skinny towards the top. So this time I'm going to go, you know, not quite as far. And then I'm going to do one more time. and end it even sooner. And you should end up with a nicely tapered shape. Remember on these legs and horns and stuff that the wire's in there, so when you stab your needle, um, you need to keep the needle towards the edge. 
make sure you get it firmly down on your felting surface. That really gives you, um, kind of try to come at it both ways. It gives you the um, support to the piece while you stab and it, it helps your felting go, go more smoothly. I'll do the other one. Okay, so that was easy, right? Now you have super cute horns. And we, the wire does kind of get buried in there, but we should, we should put some wool around to um, make sure that we cover that wire up. I always work with my animals facing the left. I don't know why, it's just comfortable for me. Um, so I'm gonna go around his neck once. And then going under the chin, when I come back around here, I'm going to go between the horns. And then this time I'm going to go under his throat in front of the horns. And when I come back, I'll go between the horns this way. It's not crucial that you wrap exactly the same way that I'm doing right now. It's just crucial that you're symmetrical and that the horns are balanced, um, you know, centered on the head. If you just came through at an angle one way but not the other, it, it would kind of slant the horns the wrong way. And then with this extra, I'll just go around one time. I'm actually going to pull that off. It's just too much. And then when you felt, uh, just remember there's a, there's a new wire in there now. You don't want to break your needle on it. It happens. But I try to avoid it. Okay, we're going to add one more um, element before we stop for this video. And we're going to make two of the biscuit shapes, which I cover in my um, basic shapes video. And these should be depending on the size of your goat, uh, they're going to go where the goat's eyes set in. Goat's eyes are kind of set wide um, on their heads and they, it, a good thing to do is Google images goats, take a look at them and you'll see there's kind of a wide um, bump where their eyes go. So gauging the amount of wool, it's about a square inch I'd say if you're working along at this scale. And then, like I said, I covered this in a previous video, so I'm not going to be super detailed here, but just stabbing in the center about the size of a pea, and then I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep stabbing the wool into that center. I'm going to bring the edges in and work into that center. And on the surface, I have to pull it off once in a while. You might on your phone as well, when you keep stabbing in one place, the wool tends to get embedded. So your shape ends up bigger than a pea. <laughs> but what you want is a lot of dimension. You don't want a pancake. You want it nice and fluffy like a hamburger bun or a biscuit. Okay, so we have our two shapes. And now we need to put them on to the goat right in front of the horns on each side. Um, remember, these aren't cheeks. These are up high on the side of his head. They're where the eyes go. And momentarily, he will look odd like an alien goat. But everything I make goes through this very awkward stage. It can't look cute the whole way through. It's it's just part of the process. I'm putting these on kind of lightly just to get them on there so you can see where they go. So we're making good progress. Um, we just have some more features on the face and the ears. And then um, we put sort of the top, top coat colors on. So I'll see you next time. Thanks.